quitting the scale part four. Your muscle gains are outweighing your fat loss. If lifting weights is part of your strategy to burn fat and lose weight, you're doing something right. So adding resistance training to your fat weight loss plan is a great way to protect and preserve muscle loss as you remove fat from your frame. However, if you're new to weightlifting and you're pushing yourself hard, you're going to see some things on the scale that may surprise you. So your weight might actually not go down, it might go up. And this is because as you're losing fat and replacing that weight with muscle. So your weight may not go down, but your body fat percentage will go down. So for example, let's take a 117 pound woman and assume she has 38.6 pounds of fat mass, 78.4 pounds of lean body mass, and about 42 pounds of skeletal muscle mass. That's consistent with body fat percentage of 33%, which is slightly over the normal range for women, which ends at 28%. So now let's take that same woman and say she begins a comprehensive fat burning program that includes dietary changes, cardio, and strength training. After three months, she now has 32 pounds of fat mass, 84 pounds roughly of lean body mass due to a 66 pound increase in skeletal muscle mass. She still weighs 117 pounds, but now her body fat percentage is 27.8%, a big drop from her previous result of 33% which brings her into the normal healthy range. So you may be thinking right now, oh, but this woman would know that her efforts were successful because she would look different and feel different with a loss of six pounds of fat mass. But remember, it took her three months to get there. Do you think she would have looked and felt different right away with only a scale measure for her progress? So without measuring your body composition, would she have known that she was making any progress after say a month or maybe even after six weeks? So you can imagine the frustration she could have felt by not seeing the scale move at all like most of us have. This is why measuring body composition is very important or measuring around your waist and around your chest. These first four points all lead to one unifying, very important reason why you shouldn't weigh yourself every day. So, which is, follow me for the final and fifth reason to find out. 